All right, Keith, you remember the story we had uh, not that long ago about a man who set a Guinness World Record by balancing five M&Ms on top of each other? I remember that. I remember And we didn't think that sounded all that impressive until we tried it here. Yeah. Realized it was a little harder than it looked. Well, there's not a lot of call for it, you know. There hadn't been a lot of call for that. (laughs) You're exactly right. Well, we want to say congratulations once again to David Rush. He's been on our show, but he now holds over 200 world records, including... This one that he broke on our show. Let's watch. Yeah, I remember this. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, 4, 3, 2, two 1. He balanced a bunch of chairs on yeah. his nose. I mean, I don't know why, but that was a world <laughs> record of some kind. Anyway, he just set a new world record. He balanced 19 drinking glasses on top of each other, which is pretty impressive. But wait, there's more, as they say on TV. He balanced them on a stick that he was holding in his mouth. So we're going to watch him do that. I I will just say now, we are not going to be trying to do that here. You know why? Why? Because I once saw you try to hold a glass of cherry Kool-Aid in one hand while balancing a plate of barbecue on your lap. Yeah, it was a big decision. And, and it didn't work out very well. It was not pretty. No, it Keith, wasn't. It was not. And uh, quite frankly, not since Joe Biden's last press conference has there been anything so dangerously <laughs> unbalanced. All right, now I know you all can't stand getting telemarketing calls and robocalls and scam calls from numbers that you don't recognize. All right, well, get this. A woman in Australia got so fed up when one unknown number kept calling and she just refused to answer. She said she figured it was some nuisance people trying to do something naughty, but it just kept ringing until it nearly drove her nuts. She finally picked up the phone to see what they wanted and it was the government trying to tell her that she had won a one and a half million dollar lottery jackpot. And it wasn't a scam. It was was not a scam, it really was the government. And you know, the miracle is that the government was calling to give her money, not take her money. (laughs) There's the miracle right there, there, not to win in the lottery. Well, after this gets out, I'm afraid every scammer is gonna be calling her. But in her defense, the government is filled with nuisance people trying to do Uh something naughty. They are. Hey, while we're in Australia, let's stop over in Perth. Or maybe we shouldn't, because uh, the rigid COVID rules on border crossings, well, that resulted in a man traveling through Perth who was denied entry. He was taken to a hotel and forced into quarantine for 48 hours. Now, he was so desperate to get out that he tied his bed sheets together to make a rope, and he climbed down the side of the hotel four stories. Wow. Yeah. I, you know, I've stayed in hotels like that. Were they that bad? Yeah, that you, you wanted to get out? Try to, to climb out yeah. the window to get out. Well, maybe it was just that the hotel TV was stuck on CNN, <laughs> and the man, <laughs> he just escaped into the night. But good luck finding him because everybody is forced to wear a mask there. So finally, a woman from Indonesia was at a zoo with her sunglasses, fell off into an orangutan enclosure. She caught some video of this fashionista ape picking them up and trying them on. And by golly, they look pretty good. Who is that behind those Foster Grants? You know, that that orangutan. (laughs) Very fascinating. He, 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 yes. He kind of looks like a redneck. I saw at a <laughs> Leonard Skinner concert one time. Yeah, really. I think so. But, yeah. uh, you know, he doesn't have any tattoos or anything. So no. I'm not sure that he really was the same guy. Well, hey, before we get egged for that joke, I'm going to stop right here. But until next time, always remember, we read the news. So you don't have to. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.